All right, ball's on the three. Billy, wait a minute! Take us to that, the final drive and then what you saw open up there on that run when you scored the touchdown. Yeah, um, the biggest thing, you know, in that final drive, I just tried to, you know, continue to do what I did the whole game, remain calm. Obviously, you know, the crowd, the fans did a great job. They got into it. Defense made a play, had the block field goal. Um, so the biggest, biggest thing for me was just, you know, try to continue what I did the whole game, you know, where I found success and just getting the ball to the playmakers, right? You know, getting out to Ty, getting out to KP. Ock had a great day. Um, Dylan Wade made some good catches. So just getting out to them, you know, let them kind of do the hard work of that, you know, makes sense. And then on the last run, you know, we had, uh, we had a couple plays in the past two drives that set that up with the, uh, the bringing the tight end in motion across. And then obviously, you know, saw green grass, pulled it. They ran out with Dylan Wade, um, or they ran out with Octavian Smith on the, the motion. Um, and obviously just put my foot in the ground and got vertical. And yeah, once I got in, yeah, brought the boom out there in the end zone, so. All right, ball's on the three. Billy, wait a minute, touchdown! Why do you think, especially after you know that last play in the first half, and you looked frustrated that you guys were able to respond the way you did? Yeah, you know, in the locker room, um, obviously, right, Dante Trader didn't play today, but Dante Trader and, and Ty Felton the whole time we're talking pretty much the whole time in the locker room, just saying, you know, we got nothing to lose. We're we'll be down 10, 14 going into the the second half, um, and we obviously it was Terps first Terps. We weren't playing our best football, and you know, we we changed the outcome of three or four plays in that first half, and we're probably winning going into the second half. Um, so they just reiterated that. Um, and they just, you know, reminded us that, you know, like, we, like I've said all, you know, week, all season, right? When we get to this point, we got nothing to lose just to go out there and cut it loose. Um, and just, you know, just a fight for with all, you know, phases of the ball. Um, obviously, right, things didn't go our way, you know, throughout the game, especially early, but we just continued to chip away, chip away. Um, and, you know, found ourselves in a ball game in the fourth quarter to give ourselves a chance. And then, you know, we made, we made plays when it counted there at the end. And you and Ty's alley -oop celebration there at the end. You've been practicing that one. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I got a, I know someone sent me uh, the video or GIF or whatever it was after the UBA game. I got to see if they got a, another one of us doing it in the all red. So that one, we definitely, you know, we practice every Friday. So. Good to break it out. Oh, yeah. 100%, man. It felt great that and singing the fight song again, having all the students and the fans come on the field. It was uh, it was a surreal experience. It was definitely, you know, one that I tried to soak up and enjoy. What was the locker room atmosphere like post game? Um, I got up there late. I was tired from running around. I didn't even know where to run right with everyone on the field. Uh, but it was just a lot of excitement uh, just knowing, you know, we've we've gone through a lot of adversity and, you know, we've tried to just continue to push through, push through and finally get on the right side of a game. Um, you know, when adversity struck, you know, from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, from the first whistle to the last whistle, it felt good to finally, you know, know that we were able to push through it um, and come out, you know, on the right side of it. And, you know, we, we, some of me and some of the, you know, other guys on offense just talked about, you know, kind of what this momentum can create for us. Um, so, you know, we, we got to look, get in tomorrow, get in Monday, look and see what we can correct. And then obviously try to, you know, try to use this game as momentum and take it on the next week because we got a big one next week on the road um, against a great Minnesota team. And then, you know, we'll see where we are after that. But it was, it was definitely exciting. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of family in there, a lot of coaches, fa family and friends, a lot of teammates, all the coaches. Um, so there was a lot of good moments in there, a lot of excitement. Locks talks about rinsing the bad plays out. How do you mentally get ready to, to forget? Yeah, I would say probably, you know, if you ask people around the facility, right, in the locker room and, like, on the sideline during games, I probably, for the most part, right, obviously, you know, We've, we've had uh, adversity strike and, you know, I show emotion, uh, but I really try to do a good job of just being, in, you know, in the, uh, in the middle ground, as I say, throughout it all. Um, I don't really, you know, try to have too much emotion on the drive until we score um, or I know that I'm getting off the, the field for that drive. Um, and that was just kind of the, the whole thing for me, you know, once obviously got into the fourth quarter and the stadium was loud and, you know, Shell was rocking, people mm -hmm. were standing up, defense was making plays, we block a field goal. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest thing for me as, you know, the leader of the offense and playing quarterback position is just try to stay, you know, mentally kind of in that middle ground, not too high, not too low. Um, going back to, you know, some of the things my dad taught me about just clearing the mechanism and, you know, taking it one play at a time. You keep talk about keeping your emotions in check during the game, but you had a lot of emotions after that win, a lot of emotions of excitement. What was that moment like, especially considering the adversity you guys have been through and the struggles these last few weeks? Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, Telling one, I forget, one of my locker mates that, you know, probably this goes up there as the best game, you know, that best environment, best game of role that I've, you know, had the opportunity to play in in my college career. One that, you know, I was obviously a player. Um, I think there was one other game my freshman year, obviously when I wasn't here, that, you know, a, 
we stormed the field after a win, um, but to do it, you know, in the fashion that we did against the opponent that we did it with how the season's gone up until this point, um, and the fans that you know stuck around and were loud and were you know played a really vital role there in that fourth quarter. It was it was just a, a great feeling, um, just knowing kind of all the the hard you know stuff that we had to go through to get to this point. Um, and like I said, we're gonna you know we're gonna need to use this game to create momentum for ourselves and just continue to try to take it one game at a time and, and carry us on throughout the season. 373 yards passing, and they seemed to try to you know, contain you guys. Deep. What was the approach today? What were you guys able to take advantage of? Yeah, I think uh, you know definitely in that in the first half. Um, they played a little bit more man than we were anticipating or man principles on defense. Um, but we knew, you know, going to halftime, we knew, okay, you know, this is what they wanted to do. You know, we got the skill guys and we're built for it sort of thing. Um, you know, the offense line did a great job protecting. Obviously, you know, they're going through changes, um, you know, in their room and they did a great job embracing them. Um, and then receivers did a great job just getting open. Um, obviously, I'm probably threw the ball, what, 45, 50 times a lot. So I'm sure they'll be, you know, I'll look back. There'll be a few that I went back um, taking that. You know, getting close to taking sacks, or you know, not getting in, in, not getting us into the right checks, especially there in the red area, because we you know we knew they were going to heat us up. But I think we just tried to stick to our bread and butter, um, and just rely on our playmakers. And you know, as my job as a quarterback, just to get them the ball and then let them be special, right? Obviously, you know, I think KP told me he had over 100. Ty had you know a bunch of touches. Octavius Smith had a hell of a catch there in the first touchdown in the first half. Um, so just continue to feed them the ball, and then you know you saw Roman Hemby on that fourth and five. I think that was the second to last drive or the last drive, make a guy miss. So just getting the ball to them, and then letting them be special. You know they make me look good, so I gotta you know make sure I level up on them and keep you know keep making sure they like me, and we can keep doing good things. If you'd like to be better on third downs, obviously, was the mindset coming out of halftime for down territory for the second half? Um, yeah, definitely. You know being down, I think two scores going into the second half, we knew we were, you know we had to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, and we felt confident with the way our defense was playing and, you know, knowing that we could give them short fields and they would play well. Um, obviously, you know, credit to Southern Cal. They, they came in, I think, with like the sixth ranked third down defense in the country. Um, obviously, you know, we're going to look back and there'll be some things that we can be better on um, in the third down, you know, there and then the red area, the, the turnover I had in the third quarter where, you know, Ty felt was running wide open. Um, but yeah, you know, it was, it was, it was good to, you know, we were probably 30, 25% on, on third down, but you know, there were some crucial fourth downs that we had that we needed to pick up. We did. Um, and yeah, so we'll, you know, we'll look back and there'll be a lot of stuff, you know, that, that we got to clean up and, and know that we got to get better from. But I think it was just a good job overall, you know, across the board on the team, but definitely offensively, just, you know, keep chipping away even when things got tough. Found ourselves in some third and longs. We were able to convert some, um, you know, try to stay on the field and, you know, maintain some drives. Feeling, does it feel like it's, is it too dramatic to say it's, it feels like a turning point for you guys in this season? Yeah, I think definitely, you know, as some of the, you know, the older guys on the team, I, I think that's what we want it to be. Um, and, you know, we got to go back. We obviously did a lot of good things, but there was, you know, there was so much stuff offensively, especially with, you know, with my play and, and you know, my role in the game that I can learn from. Uh, but I think we all want to, you know, we all think of it as that, and now we got to go in and do the work. Um, like I said, we got a really good Minnesota team that we got to go travel to next week, and then we'll have a bye week. So we got to just, you know, get back in tomorrow, get back in Monday, clean up the tape and, and embrace it. I think, you know, this was a turning point for a lot of guys, a lot of younger guys, um, a lot of saplings, as Coach Locks told us throughout the week, um, that got a chance to play. And, you know, they matured. And like I said, we made plays, you know, across the board when we needed to. So it felt good to, you know, get on the right side of it. When that was over, Dante came and found you and led you over to the band to sing. Uh, how long have you guys been best friends and roommates? Well, I, we've only been roommates, I think, going on probably – five, six months now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've always been uh, very like-minded people on the team, obviously, right? He plays safety. That's kind of the quarterback of the defense, the, you know, the guy that has to get him out in and out of the plays. And then, obviously, with my role in offense, being the quarterback, we've always, you know, we're always in the facility late nights with each other. Um, you know, it worked out well that we got to have roommate. My previous roommates have all been offensive linemen, so it was good to, you know, switch it up a little bit and get someone, um, you know, from a different perspective on the other side of the ball. Um, but, you know, that was, he, he just kept telling me, right, he obviously didn't know if he was going to play on, you know, kind of how his body felt. Um, but he just kept telling me ever since, you know, Thursday, you know, back in the apartment, to, in the hotel, to the same today, just do you, right? You know, we're, the offense is going to rely on you a lot and just, you know, we all trust in you to make the plays. Um, and, you know, he was there after every drive, good, bad, ugly, um, kind of with his hand over my shoulder. And then, like I said, this was the first game, you know, as a player that, you know, the crowd stormed the field. So I was getting hit, run at from left and right. So he finally grabbed me and said, come on, we're going over here. So he, he was my, my bodyguard there to help me out. But it was good, you know, to embrace that moment with him, Kate and pray through guys, you know, we really just sit on the sideline and enjoy it because it was, you know, it was a lot of hard work and a lot of, you know, pushing through adversity that, you know, led us to, to throughout the season, but up until this point to get the win today. Good going. Talk about you. What do you have to work on?